simple five type question and we're gonna do this totally with decimals. I'm moving from A to B, make my delta X. Uh, we're moving from negative two, positive two, so my delta X is positive four. Then we're moving up from negative four up to three, which is positive seven. Delta Y is seven and my delta X is four. I'm gonna put my A here, which is seven over four, equals seven over 1.75. We're going to get the equation y is equal to 1.75 plus the b value. 1.75x plus the b value. The b value. Start with my equation y is equal to 1.75x plus b. And then I'm going to replace the x and y with some point. I like the b. I'm going to replace the y with the y value of this b point, which is 3. 3 is equal to 1.75 times our x value, 2. So times 2 plus the b. So this is 1.75 times 2, which is 3.5. I have 3 is equal to 3.5 plus the b value. Subtracting 3.5 from both sides, minus 3.5 to isolate the b, minus 3.5 gives us negative 0.5 is our B. And does that make sense? Yeah, that looks like 0.5. We get 1.75X minus 0 0.5. I'm gonna put my negative 0 0.5 here in the B. For the line CD, the delta X, I'm moving from C over three plus five, so that's eight. Then I'm moving up eight. 3 plus 5, then from negative 3 all the way up to 9. So 3 plus 9 is 12. Delta x is 8, but delta y is 12. That's going to reduce, like 12 over 8 is going to reduce, divide the top and bottom by 4 is 3 over 2. Equal to 12 over 8 is my a, which is 1.5. We end up with the equation y is equal to 1.5x plus our B value. To find the B, I'm just going to plug in C is negative 3, negative 3. I make the Y negative 3 is equal to 1.5 times negative 3 plus B. That gives us negative 3 is equal to negative 4.5 plus the B. To get the B all alone, I'm going to add 4.5 to this. If I add 4.5 to the right hand side, I also have to add it to the left hand side to keep everything balanced. That gives me positive 1.5 is equal to b is equal to b. Does that make sense? I think that looks like 1.5. Our equation is, you'll put the 1.5 here. y is equal to 1.5x plus 1.5. Now we need to find the point of intersection. It looks like it's gonna be 7.5-ish. Put our guess down to 7.5-ish in the y direction, 13.5, 13.5. This is my guess. We're gonna now calculate it exactly and see if we're close. I'm gonna equate these two equations, 1.75x, minus 0 0.5 is equal to 1.5x plus 1.5. I have more x's on the left hand side, so it's gonna be slightly easier to subtract the 1.5 from the right hand side. So minus 1.5 minus 1.5, uh, which should give us 0.25x. I also would like to get rid of this negative 0 0.5, so I'm gonna add 0 0.5 to both sides. And that gives us 0. 25x is equal to 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2x. I'm just going to divide by 0 0.25 in each case. x is 2 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 2 divided by 0 0.25. That gives us 8. Does that look like 8? Could be 8. And I was saying 7.5. The y value, I'm just going to feed into one of these equations by 1.75 times the x value. Take away 0 0.5, which is adding negative 0 0.5. That gives us 13.5, which is what I thought it was. Then we press enter to check to see if we're right. Let us do one more. I'm going to delta x over from negative 9 to negative 3. So that's a delta x of 6. Delta x equals 6. Then I'm moving up 11, up a further 12. That's 23. Delta y is positive 23. A value is going to be delta y over delta x is 23 divided by 6. And that gives me 3.83 repeating. To get the B value, put that into an equation. We have Y is equal to 3.83 repeating.
repeating x plus our b value. We want to solve for the b value, so I'm going to plug in an x and y. Plug in negative 3 in the x direction and 12 in the y direction. The y is 12 is equal to 3.83 repeating times negative 3 plus the b gives us 12 is equal to that number times negative 3 is minus 11.5 plus the b. And I want to get rid of the negative 11.5, so I'm going to add 11.5 to both sides. Plus 11.5 plus 11.5. That is going to give us 12 plus 11 is 23, so 23.5. And let's see if that makes sense for our b. Yeah, 23.5 does make sense. 23.5 is equal to b. And I'm going to write that right here under the b. 23.5. The final equation is y equals 3.83. Repeating. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to put 5, 6 decimal places. x plus the 23.5 delta x, I'm going from negative 7, I'm dropping down to negative 11, so that's negative 4 is my delta y equals negative 4. My delta x, I'm going over from negative 3 all the way over to positive 7, so that's 10. Delta x is 10. If you're doing that as a fraction, that would be negative 4 over 10, which is negative 2 over 5. You would reduce. So the delta x is negative 10, but we're doing it with decimals today. Okay, but we're using it as a decimal, which is negative 0.4. Y is equal to negative 0.4x plus our b value. Now to solve for the b, I'm going to use an x and y point. I'm just going to use negative 3, negative 7. The y value is negative 7 is equal to negative 0.4 times the x value, which is negative 3, plus the b. That gives us negative 7 is equal to positive 1.2 plus the b. I'm going to subtract 1.2 from both sides. Minus 1.2 and minus 1.2, and that will give us negative 8.2 is equal to b. And does that make sense? Yes, it does. Negative 8.2 over here. Our equation is y is equal to negative 0.4x minus 8.2. So now for the point of intersection. Point of intersection is right here. It's negative 7.5-ish. I'm expecting my answer to be around there. And my y value is negative 5.2. Let's go and find out what it is by equating these two equations. I'm not going to write 3.83333. I'm just going to write 3. 8x. Remember, you're using these numbers. Don't use 3.8. x plus 23.5 is equal to negative 0.4x minus 8.2. I have more x's on the left hand side. I'm going to get rid of the negative 0.4x on the right hand side by adding 0.4x to both sides. If I add it to the right hand side, I also have to add it to the left hand side to keep it balanced. Remember, it's not really 3.8. 3.83 repeating added to 0.4. I have negative 0.4. To get that to be positive, I'm going to subtract it. Minus a negative is, is adding. We have 4.23. On this side, that makes sense. 4.23 repeating. X. I want to get rid of this 23.5. I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Minus 23.5. If I subtract it from the left-hand side, I also have to subtract it from the right-hand side. That will give us, I have the minus 8.25, and I want to subtract the 23.5. We get negative 31.7. To get the x totally alone, it's being multiplied by the 4.23 repeating, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4.23 repeating. That will give us a negative 31.7 divided by 4.23 repeating, which is right here. And that gives us negative 7.48. Now, I was predicting negative 7.5, and that's pretty close. For the y value, I'm just going to plug it into one of these two equations. Doesn't matter which one. I'll just take the first one. It was equal to, now I have the 3.83 right here. It's that times the x value. Click on the x value plus our b value. So plus the 23.5. And that gives us negative 5.2. And I was predicting negative 5.2. Then we press return. And that's how you do a level 5 type question with decimals. Have a good day.